Hey, what's up guys? Mule Skull here. Welcome back to Muley's Holiday Rundown 2017, Day 4. Today, we're taking a look at Realms of Magic. This game was provided to me by the developer, Polished Games, who is also, also the publisher, Polished Games. Uh, it's in pre-alpha version 0.1.3 not polished yet um this game's pretty cool <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna spoil it right now it's pretty cool um yeah you start by making a character uh different races let's see what do i want to be i tried wild elf for 20 minutes uh just to make sure the game ran smooth a while ago and yeah it's got it's got some things guys now it's a 2D sandbox RPG with crafting and building and all the things we love. Um, yeah, I'm super excited to show you guys this. I think I'm going to be a gnome. A lady gnome. We're going to do that. Uh, name is going to be Muley... Uh, Mulia. Roberts. Yeah. <laughs> 50 hairs. 50 hairs. Uh, let's make her purdy. It's gorgeous. Uh, different eyes. How many eyes? 50 different kinds of eyes. Oh, there we go. F how many mouths? Did it say 50 again? Oh my goodness. She's gonna be gorgeous um yeah there we go and then don't say 50 okay ooh she's a gnome we can't make her green um I kind of like this one Hair color. <laughs> oh man. Eye color. 20 different eye colors. That's pretty sweet. Um. No. No. She's gonna have that color. Uh, miscellaneous colors. Do you see anything changing? I do not. So, one should be good. Uh, yeah. Misc color two. Doesn't seem like anything's changing. Misc color th three. Only has one. Okay, so, uh, this is Mulia Roberts. Uh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Hashtag gorgeous in the comments. Okay, um... Let's do it! We're not going to skip the tutorial because I really want to show you guys stuff. This game is super, super cool. I'm excited to show you guys this one. Uh, this one appeared in my email out of nowhere and... Oh man, it's got some stuff. So, A and D to move left and right. Uh, yeah, it's very, very butter smooth for being a pre-alpha. I mean... I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's... The movement is great. Now, the movement's great and all, but there's more. <laughs> so we're just going to continue this way. Space to jump. I've been doing that. Uh, pretty familiar controls so far. Nothing too out of the ordinary. The longer you hold jump, the higher your character jumps. So, short jump, long, big jump. Yeah. Which is cool. Uh, you can't jump or sprint if your stamina bar is low, which you double tap uh, A or D to sprint. You can sprint, jump, and up here we have uh, life, magic, or mana, and stamina. And we'll we'll get to these two in a bit, but I think some people have a good idea what those are. Open the door by moving over it, moving the cursor over it, and hi uh, yeah, just go up to it when it highlights. See? Let's see. Now look at this. Look at that animation. 
I gotta tell you, I've seen door animations before, but this one is up there. Probably top five <laughs> door animations. Uh, you need to equip a shovel in order to dig through cl th through collapsed tunnel. Open the chest by moving cursor over it, and when the chest is highlighted, press the interaction button, E, and you take a shovel. Open the character window by pressing C or clicking on its icon in the menu in the top left corner. We're just going to hit C. Uh, there's lots of different menus here. Equip the shovel from the chest by moving it to, to character window or by right clicking it. So we have weapons, a torch slot, consumables, uh, which if you can tell by the, the symbols there, I don't know if you guys are watching on mobile, but this one looks like a fork and a knife. And this one looks like a glass of water. So it's got hunger and thirst, which is what these two things are. Um, you've got six different armor slots. You have uh, four different tools, three different clothes, which I'm guessing is vanity, and uh, bags. Three of them are locked. I think this is your storage, which is upgradable. Uh, different jewelry, different ammo. So we're just going to right click this, goes into a tool slot, tool slot, uh, make sure the multi-tool slot on your toolbar is selected, which is this one, number one. Left click on uh, muck blocks in order to dig through them. So I'm going to turn this, yeah, close that. We're going to start digging. Look at that. We are digging through the muck. Now on the bottom right, you can see what I'm picking up. And yeah, oh, it's just so good. Now, good thing about this game being pre-alpha, they've already put in step up of one one block. Uh, step up one block. It took Terraria a long time to do that. But yeah, it does have that. Press S to jump down from the platform. So no, uh, if you play Starbound, you have to duck and then press jump to fall. This, you just tap S. Uh, your, your down control. Nice and easy. So we're gonna go even further down. Boop, 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 boop. Torches in this corridor are extinguished. Light them up with interaction button E. So you press E. Oh, look at this. A little secret. Let's get in here. Now, for pre-alpha, guys, this, this game has some cool stuff going for it. And this tutorial shows you a lot of cool stuff. So, um, there's some chunks of salt, which I think you can shift click out, which is amazing, or there's a take all. Um, there's this one, it's got Tales of Witch Hunters Part 1, it's a book, right click to read, and woolen cloth. We're going to take it, it's got some monies in there too. Um, is it I? No, it's B for bag, backpack, I guess it would be. Uh, yeah, there's some quick menus up here too. Now look at this. I'm not going to read this. I'm just going to leave it here for a second. And if you guys want to, you can pause it and read it. Um, because it's a pretty long book. It's got some lore in it. It's a very long book. <laughs> for pre-alpha, if the lore is this long, you know, it's it, there's some thought put into it, and I really like that. Alright, that's the end of the book. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, I'm going to close my inventory. And we're going to go this way. I'm going to light torches on the way. Spawn point set. That's a little sleeping bag. Uh, looks like there's some burlap gloves, which I'm going to right click. And it goes straight onto your character, so your character does have the... Uh, it shows the armor, which is RPG 101. If you're going to play an RPG, you better be able to see the armor, am I right? Uh, let's see. So yeah. You know, Melia Roberts can uh, dress however she wants and it shows up, which is magnificent <laughs> in my book. Uh, enemy ahead, loot a weapon from the corpse nearby. So, corpse, give me your weapon. I'm just going to right click it. Uh, enter combat mode by pressing R. R is basically your switch between combat. So, you can have a combat inventory up here. 
Uh, there's a shield slot, so you can actually defend yourself. Um, this is telling me to uh, make sure the first slot is there, left mouse to attack. And here's another cool thing. Power attacks and timed attacks. You can actually hold back. You can do a quick attack. You can, um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. So we've got this giant rat, and he's going to try and nip at me. But yuli has got the skills. He's not going to touch me, not one time. That's right, you better run. Boom. And what does he have? Oh. Oh, I gotta press R, don't I? No? Why can't I right click this guy? Oh, I gotta hit E. That's right. Okay, so I can keep this out. Um, a giant rat pelt and some raw rat meat. Sweet. So we're moving through. Let's put away the weapon. And start doing some mucking on the old muck. Yeah, this game's pretty sweet. Um, came out of nowhere. Like, I I know it's uh, pre-alpha, but usually I'm pretty much on top of uh, these types of games coming out, and this one kind of blindsided me. Ooh, why can't I walk up these ones? Now, I got the step up here. Right here, I don't. I gotta actually jump. Yep. Is it because there's an enemy? No, because I still can't do it. Oh, do we got invisible blocks, maybe? Hmm. Well, pre-alpha. You know, it's still... Still working out the bugs, I'm sure. Because the game is... Brand spanking new. Uh, new thing, we got a rat tail. Sweet. Let's put that away. Let's continue on, my friends. Uh, jump further by sprinting and jumping. Oh. No, no, no. Cool thing is, watch this. He didn't hit me, so he doesn't have uh, damage on contact, which is another thing that kind of bugs me sometimes about games. Burlap cloth. Uh, rabbit pelt and wolf pelt. Spawn point. Uh, we gotta loot the rat. Nothing new there. Some burlap shoulder pads, which they go on if I right click them. Take the coal. Is this a thing? What is this? Hmm. Okay. Another dead body. A stone axe. Ooh, that's a weapon? Okay. Um, which one's better? Three to five. What's the axe? Or is it? Four to six. It's an upgrade. So, club. We're gonna put you in the inventory. In the backpack. Gonna close all that. Oh, did, was that a named corpse? I think it said Bavan's corpse. That's pretty sweet. Uh, further. Further path is blocked by uh, rock blocks. You can't destroy them with a shovel. You will need to craft a pickaxe. Start by taking resources from the chest. So there's some stone and some sticks. Let's take it all. Let's go here. Uh, scroll down the list find stone pickaxe which is right here okay there's also you can show the unlearned things you have there's also have materials button for that uh, no search bar as far as I can see I looked around earlier and didn't find it but let's make a stone pickaxe just gonna craft it up and boom there we go now we gotta equip it so we go here right click it goes into the tools menu um, when you're in your uh, when you're out of combat mode right here your multi-tool will use these all of your tools so that's pretty sweet and uh, light leather some nails and hinges probably for building uh, burlap rope burlap cloth jute cool stuff There it is. It's little secrets. Uh, light leather leg guards. Those are definitely an improvement, right? Uh, Tales of Witch Hunters Part 2. 
you guys are interested, I'll open that book in a moment. Some bone meal. Okay, let's do the book. Book. Part two, are you ready? Okay. Pause it and read it. I'll drink some coffee. And that's the end. Pretty cool. I like that there's lore. Ooh, and look at the pickaxe go. It's how we do it. How wide is your character? One block. Cool. Uh, three tall. Three tall, one wide. In case you're wondering. Uh, various actions in the game reward you with experience points. Once you reach enough experience, your character will level up and gain talent gain talent point talent point, uh, which can be spent in one of several talent trees. So it has RPG le leveling, my friends. Very cool. Did I get hit? No, I sure didn't. Really, never gets hit. I have reached level two. The wonderful level sound. Uh, let's see, the talent is up here. There's professions, skills, talents, um, handcrafting, which is just crafting without a table, I bet. Yep, okay, cool. Uh, talent points are spent. Let's see, there's a journal. What's the journal? Written by Amelia Roberts. Boy, that's gonna, it's gonna sell like hotcakes. A map? Ooh, ooh! I didn't see the map before. This is very, very, very nice. Oh my goodness! There's kingdoms and stuff. This is too, too sweet. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yup. Yup. Uh, T. There we go. Oh, there's a, there's a friend. Uh messaging me <laughs> hopefully nothing too bad uh, so we have oh uh, I want to revert because I accidentally clicked one so there's a uh, general skills or general talents defensive talents mobility and one-handed talents very very nice um what do I want to do mobility one-handed uh, I'm sure there's gonna be more because there's all this space and not everybody's going to be a one-handed. If they specify one-handed, there's probably going to be a two-handed. Um, maybe magic, uh, ranged. Um, it might go even more in-depth, because if it's one-handed, it isn't just strictly melee. There's, you know, one-handed melee, two-handed melee, one-handed magic, two-handed, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, slicing spin, improves spin, faster spin. Pretty much if you go for the the one-handed, you're going to be spinning a lot. Um, cheaper spin, you know, and spins and spins. Very nice. Let's go mobility. Move stamina cost for, oh, no, let's go defense. Improved block. Uh, I don't have block yet. Let's increase our armor. Let's do that. Because that seems like a good move right off the bat. So, I've applied it. Um, general skills are health, stamina, mana. Ooh, I should have done that one. I definitely should have done that one. Can I, uh, revert? I can't. Already used it. Already applied it. But yeah, pack mule for the mule, right? Okay. That was kind of blind. Okay. Um, there's stuff. Woolen rope and wool. Can I, uh... Do anything with this rock? Nope. I keep S jump. <laughs> S jumping, I guess I could say. Oh, part three. And some sheep pelt. Light leather. It's probably what it wants me to do, right? Can I even get up there? I tried before. I couldn't do it. Maybe sprint? 
Nope. Nope. I can't jump from here. Okay. That's cool. Uh, it's already... It's telling me to do this, but I already did. Select a talent, click on it, apply. Okay. Um, boop. Boop. Okay. I, that, I'm just getting the text off the screen. Um, let's read part three if you want. Only if you want to. Okay. This one's more than eight pages. It's more than ten pages. Oh my goodness. I'll have to read this later. Fifteen pages. Hooey. Very cool. Okay. We're moving on. So yeah, just this tutorial, I was like, wow. Take minor healing potions from the chest nearby. Take all. Some shoes. Let's put on those shoes. Uh, you can drink a potion by right-clicking it <clears throat> to restore your health points. Now here's an interesting thing I found. I'm in combat mode, and I can't put these potions into the combat slots. Uh, probably because it's not, uh, oh, that's basic attack. Okay, so that's not even the weapon, that's the actions, that's pretty sweet. Okay, there's that. How do you use a torch for Z? So it's a toolbar. Okay, well, anyway, um, you can put them here. But you can right click and use them. Uh, I'm not gonna though. Ah, it's probably gonna force me. Fine. Okay. Um, there we go. And that gives me an alchemy ampule. Ampule. I'm gonna put them up here. I probably won't need them because I'm pro, but you never know. <laughs> right. Um. There we go. Beware of traps. Some of them are stationary, but others will require good timing to avoid them. So there's some spikes here. There's also a platform. Um, spikes. Spawn point set. Now you see the the fire there. So you got to time it. Nailed it. Kind of. I took two health points, but take a pine shield from the chest and equip it. Uh, let's go like this, take that. Right click to equip. This is pretty sweet. There's blocking. Very smooth animation. Very quick. Okay. And... We're going down. Bring it on. Now... Interesting thing I found about this is um, blocking uses stamina. I'm not sure about durability, but I thought that was pretty cool. Because pretty much ensures a perfect block every time, aside from uh, your, if you use too much stamina, blocking too much. But I'm sure there's a way to make that different a different uh probably make uh block uh block centric characters if you will <laughs> cool got some stuff up there ooh now the enemies will change their attacks too some will be faster some will be slower and i thought that was cool cuz it um it makes you want to strategize a little better. You can't just stand there and block and hit. Because they might do a heavy attack and then a quick attack right after. Those kinds of things. Uh, you can find some water in the chest nearby. You can equip a uh, water to auto drinking slot. By right clicking it, your character will then drink it whenever he she is thirsty. Now you can see that 
Top one's hunger, 29%. Thirst is at 29% also. So we're going to take these sticks. There's some water, so we're going to right click and see. Our character was thirsty, so they drank some. Just making sure. Okay. Come up here, do this. All right, um, and it's not coming up, but, oh hey, I didn't even see that one before. There we go. Some little secrets. Okay, it's not say, saying it, but, um, you can cook rat on a stick here. Uh, oh, gotta go through. Oh, all, there's an all button, Muley. There we go! Rat on a stick. Delicious. Uh, we're gonna right click that also. There we go. Beautiful. Moving on. There are no torches in the tunnel ahead. Uh, take traveling torch from the chest and equip it to light... Equip it to light your way up. Okay, so I'm gonna right click it. It's gonna go there. Uh, press Z button to click, or press Z button or click the torch button on the right side of toolbar. Where is it? Oh, right there. Uh, to draw out the torch. So it replaces your shield, which is fine. Uh, got some stuff, tin, ore, and bars and stuff. And yeah, we're gonna go up here. Look at that. Looks like a meanie. Now see? Heavy attack. Quick attack. Heavy attack. I can do it too. Ouch, I just took 10 points in damage from that guy. Boop. And he's got gloves, which I'm going to right-click these just to make sure I have them. Uh, stone axe, let's just take it all because I've got a stone axe equipped, I believe. Um, let's see. Hunger's good, thirst is good. Let's come over here. Let's go down here. Hey, buddy. Stop swinging at me. Did I say I was pro? I wasn't going to get hit at all. I know. It's okay. I got the moves. Ouch. Those quick attacks come out quick. <laughs> Shoes. Gloves. Right click them both. Make sure I got them. Okay, cool. Let's move on. Ooh, there's a helmet, or a hat. Let's see. We have a minor healing potion. I think I'm just going to eat that one. Uh, take all. Cool. Or drink. Drink that one. Potion. You drink potions, you don't eat them, Mealy. Your health points slowly regenerate over time. I, j I was just impatient. Alright, um, more stuff. Ah, move rock from the chest to one of the slots on the toolbar. Okay, so we take all, hit B, hit R to put our weapon away. We're going to put this here. Select the slot with the rock and left click to build your way to the other side of the gap. Which, we know, we know this move. There we go. Is there anything down there, though, that I should know about? Hmm? Aha! I need more rock for my toolbar. Oh, yeah, I'm only one wide, so... Might as well just do that. Nails! Hinges and a lock. 
beautiful. And... Ooh, more goodies. Rope, it looks like. Bedding and a pillow and some uh, copper coins. All right, more stuff to build. Go, Muley! Go, Muley Roberts! Oh, I can't jump if my stamina goes down. That's pretty cool. And you gotta think about that stuff because I'm tapping if you can't hear. Okay, coo. There, just waiting for it. No, put that away. Uh, no interactions here, but there's writing there, so that could be a possibility later. Remember, guys, pre-alpha, early, early access on Steam. Link in the description. Do that, do that. Hmm, we know this trick. We're gonna go boop. Spawn point. Looks like potion and a tin mace. Ooh. Five to seven. This one's four to six, was it? Um, yep, four to six. So, right click that. Take all. Cool. You guys know I like carrying around all these axes because I'm a hoarder, okay? Um, also, here's a cool thing. It has a value, so you can sell this extra stuff, I imagine. I'm not sure how that's going to be implemented, but... That's only because I haven't gotten that far in the game yet. Uh, I think we can put the torch away. Seems pretty bright here. And I knew this guy was coming, spoiler. Check this out. <laughs> oh. Man, he's got some blocks on him. You can actually reach him from here. I know, Muley, big old cheater. How could you, Muley? Oh, tin axe. It's different. Five to seven. What's the mace? Five to seven. We're gonna equip the axe because it looks cooler to me. I've never been an axe or a mace person. I'm sorry. But yeah, you could fight that guy. He's pretty geared up with the axe anyway. Alright, um... More stuff. So yeah, this game uh, shows some real, real promise, guys. Uh, you can interact with the portal by pressing E. That's what we're gonna do. Realms of Magic. That was the tutorial, my friends. <sighs> yeah, here we are in the real real world. Oh, that's a hatchet. Right click it. Take all. Just in case. Um Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. I am probably gonna play this game uh off camera and keep an eye on it. Um but yeah, I'm not sure if there's multiplayer quite yet. I haven't really read into it. Uh, guidebook step complete, basic survival, drinking water. Ooh! So yeah, there's different things you can, uh, let's see. Can I do this? Let's see. Let's see if I can fill these up with water. Yep, I'm left clicking and I'm imagining it's giving me water. Not there though. Ampule of water. Usable drink. Very nice. A glass bottle. Can I, uh... Oh, okay, so you can pick them up and actually hover them, uh, over and do it, too. That's pretty sweet. Very nice. So I've got food and I've got water. And I actually got some chicken. How about this? Like, I stopped right here, uh, when I was playing it. Making sure it worked. I wanted to keep playing. Cause yeah, this game is pretty sweet. Now that we're here, let's let's go do some exploring. Why not? What is this? Just so many things. What are you? 
Um, for lap shoes. Is there a trash? Oh, you just... What? Oh my goodness. <gasps> that is awesome. What did I just pick up anyway? Mud. Perfect. <laughs> What's this? Rock? Stone? I don't know. Stone. What's this? Sand? Sand, I imagine. That's cool. I want to see trees. Do they fall or do they just break? Oh yeah, they 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 do it the right way. Um, gloves, get out. This stuff's cool, but come on. Chopping down trees. There's guidebook. There's guidebook steps. What is that? Where is that? Journal maybe? Questing? Oh my goodness, okay. Yep, this is too cool. Or this stuff. I'm just gonna pick it up, because I can. Take that, Chicon. Uh oh. Nice doggy. Nice doggy. You don't want me. Why are you stopping? Oh, okay. Okay. Easy. Oh, he hurts. 17. Now remember, they got quick attacks and my stamina is out. Backing up. Backing up. Just gonna scoot over here, little puppy. I wonder if there's back attacks. Oh jeez, out of stamina again. Easy. Oh, I turned my back. Okay, I thought the combat would be... He ain't getting away. Nope. Nope, you hit me. It's mean. Wolf tooth? Wolf pelt? It's meat. Must have dog meat. Can I right click this out? Nope, gotta use the draw. Okay, that's fine. Pinecone? Pinecone? Oops. Can I plant you? No. Get out. I want this stuff. <laughs> I should learn how to craft a chest, but it's all right. I'm doing this um, explore thing because I want to see how the exploration is in the game. Let's drink a potion too. Oh, okay. I guess I'm just throwing those out too. Um, mud. There we go. There we go. Muley's doing it. Oops. I want to put that on that so I don't accidentally drink potions. Yeah, so far guys, I am very, very pleased. Chicken combat is good. Uh, feather few seeds. Yo, this is nice. This is, this is the kind of game I would play. Reach level 3 from killing chickens. Oh my goodness. Uh, pack mule activate. Is that the one? Looks back slot number 2. That's what I need. Uh, oops. Oh. I don't have a bag for it though. I guess you gotta make backpacks. It just opens a slot. Beautiful. Skill point wasted. More chickens? What are this? What's this? Looks like uh, romaine or kind of like romaine lettuce. I've got a hat. Cabbage. Okay, close enough. <laughs> am I right or am I right? Uh, this must be a seed. Get out of here, gloves. 
cabbage seed. Sweet, sweet cabbage. Mm mm. More stuff. I like stuff. Burlap slacks, let's face it, I'm not gonna be wearing them. Uh, Burdockus. Tells you stacks too. See, there's a stack of. You can stack it to 250. Um, these don't stack. You can stack 100 burlap bedding. Oh, I jump high. Holy moly. Right, let's explore. Keep going, keep going. What is this? Death cave. That's what that means. Into the death cave. It's the muley way. Giant rat, I see you. No, I'm I'm too big for you. Ooh, mining. What are we gonna get? Coal? Tin! Oh my goodness. There's no way to quick travel that I can tell. Oh, what do I got? Well fed. I must have just eaten. Cool. Looks like there's stuff in the back wall too. Mining is cre Oh my goodness, there's talent leveling. This is super sweet. This is all new stuff that I'm figuring out. I like how it gives you a dirt and a... and an ore. That's pretty sweet. That was a piece of coal. Can I craft torches? What's the hand crafting button? H. Pine torch. Uh, Require sticks. Can I craft sticks? I sure can't. Gotta make planks first. So I can make planks, but I don't have the inventory for any of that stuff, so... Looks like we're mining in the dark. Oh, very cool. I love how the blocks roll around too when you kick them around. That's super sweet. I hear something, it's death. Did you guys hear that? It sounded like... Ugh. <laughs> really impressions. Wonderful. Good job, Muley. Really. Ew. S sounded squishy. I'm thinking this is all different stuff, too. Like, there's mud and dirt and stone. This is rock. This is stone or something. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Easy. Easy, puppy. No. 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 <gasps> Edge of the map. <gasps> M to travel? Yes, please. Where am I? Am I here? I can travel what? Where? Like here? Can I travel to the town? <gasps> what? Oh my goodness. This is so cool. Where did I travel even? Is it M? Uh, Woodbury. Old Kingdom. Village. Protected. Last visited today. Oh, you can hit E on this. And it'll just make you, uh... Wipe your face. No, it's drinking water, I imagine. Okay. Well. It's a protected region, it said, so there's probably no mining, but... Oh, jeez. Easy, puppy. Oh, I have no stamina! I have no stamina! Nope! 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 You just... You just go away, Wolfie. Okay? Uh, I have two hands. Let's do this. Let's use it. Uh, let's switch back to this. I don't want to run into another one, so I'm going to back off. Nice and easy. Be very, very cautious if you guys encounter wolves. Um, it might be good idea to die and show you what happens because I'm not sure if you 
keep your stuff or lose it because it didn't give me an heart a hardcore option or not or you know any of that okay I died I get it um probably take me back to my spawn point in the other place you hope I'm over here okay um wonderful I got a glass bottle uh, burlap sack doesn't refill. Okay. Ooh, did I? Let's see. Character. I keep all my tools and stuff. I just dropped my backpack items, I guess. Okay, that's very awesome. That is very awesome. So you drop your backpack. Oh, we're going back. We're going to try anyway. Um, can I? Proceed to open your guidebook. Oh, that would have been handy. And I can't travel unless I go to the edge of the map, apparently. Of course I'm going to the edge of the map. I want to go see if I can pick up my stuff. Yeah, so far this is really cool. And is it getting dark out or is it just me? It's just you, Melee. Keep going, you're fine. Go, go, go! Man, <laughs> such a mess. Jeez, Melee. Such a mess maker. What else? What I'm also curious about is if I drop my stuff, does it mean I drop my bag so I can dupe bags that way? Or is it just the items out of the bag? Like, before you died, you just opened the the flap and poured it all on the ground and then died. Rather than just say, oh, drop my backpack and drop your backpack. You opened it up. You, like, removed everything carefully and set it all in a pile. Like, folded the, the clothes you were carrying, you know, like, fold your laundry. Um, maybe, uh alphabetize your your DVDs blu-ray collection you know and then you died wrong way puppy get over here and fight me I've got you down man I'm never gonna be scared of a puppy again bonk silly puppy okay moving on go I think that was the edge of the map one Unless there's another dog out here in the woods. Nope. Go to the edge. Press M. I want to go here. Oh, double click works too. Cool. Oh, jump in. There's my stuff. Um. Oh, corpse. Okay. Okay. Um. Of course, I don't want that or that. Can I, uh, is there a quicker way? Nope. And it seems like if I go quick enough, it has problems picking it up. Maybe it's mid throw or something. Um, take all. Oh, jeez. Uh, anything important here? These are important. Throw away the shield? Yeah. Take those chickens. Get rid of the club. Chicken eggs are important to me. Uh, muck, is it important? Does it sell? <clears throat> no. I don't think I'll be building any muck houses. Um, eggs. Boy, it gets dark. Are we going to see undead? Burlap pillow, burlap bedding. Probably craft something out of that. I want to keep everything. Except for this. Don't want no shoulder pads. That's good. Is this one stone? Yeah, we'll leave that. Okay. Uh, rip Melia Roberts' corpse. Drink some water. Oh my gosh. Put 
probably the same one I fought earlier. Gosh, he's super strong. You aren't running. Okay, maybe you are. Maybe you're running. <laughs> maybe you're running. Oh, hey, this is a protected area. Does that mean... Okay, no mining. Tree chopping, no mining. Are you the same one? Okay, he was. He's just coming back to say hi. I want to find a town. Ooh, friendly, friendly. Hello, friends. Hello, Walby. Oh my goodness, look at this. Do you have any work for me? What's the name of this village? You're in Woodbury. It's a small village with nice people and great inn. You should see it. Do you have any work for me? You should talk to my wife, Nelda. She might need your help. See you soon. Exit. Get out of my sight. Can't you see I'm on duty? Go and talk to somebody, to somebody else. All right, then. All right. Thanks, Walby. Uh, yoink. It's one point set. Private wardrobe, or pine wardrobe. Nothing in the end tables. Oh, there's his wife, Nelda. Do you need my help? Yes, I do. Our landlord has taken most of our supplies as a, t a tithe. Uh, and now I'm afraid my family will starve in winter. You can help us by bringing me ten cabbages and twenty potatoes. It should be enough for us. We are very poor, so I can't offer you any money. I have to think about it. What did that last option say? Hold on. <laughs> oh, okay. It, it didn't say it again. I think it said no. Something about be her being a witch or something. Hello. This guy looks... Where am I? You're in Woodbury. Woodbury or Rat's Hole, as locals call it. It's a... Filled with morons. I'm looking... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> so, uh... If, if you're a... If you're buying this for a child, know that, um... Know that the language can be a little adult. Um... And, and that's fine. That's fine. I'm just, you know, warning you. Uh, what are you cooking? It smells nice. I'll give you a free piece of advice you should follow. Never eat at this inn. I've run out of pork recently, and now it's only rats put in the stew. Okay, cool. So these guys give quests and stuff too, and I'm not sure the loot doesn't seem to be here. Or maybe it's like not here because they don't trust me or something. What are you looking at? Hello, my friend. What can I do for you? I want to trade with you. Oh, okay. We got to check trading. Okay. Um, so here's his inventory. Oh my goodness. The windows could be a tad smaller, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Is there anything that he has that I want? Uh, pine shield? Yeah. Ooh, he's got various food goods. Ooh, bags. Look at this. There's a woolen bag, a light leather bag, a leather bag, which uh, capacity's 30 on that. Capacity's 20 on this. How much do I have? I have 363. Now what's worth that? Um, this is one. I can get two light leather bags and still have a little cash. This is five. Anything in here worth selling for more? Or is it all crafting stuff that I should probably hold on to? Stack of 500. Oh, that's 150. Oh, okay. Stacks to 500. Values 30 on it. Each, probably. 30 copper. Um, can I do one? Ah, there we go. Six. Okay. What's the value on it? 30. Interesting. If 
value of the book is holy moly. Okay, that's cool. Um, to probably get better at trading too. Let's see if we can buy two of these light leather bags. Um, I will pay four for that. Oh, he's selling. Ah, so he's selling them for more than they're worth or their value, I guess. So there's four. Um. You will pay four, but I can add things to lower that price, like this stone axe, this tin mace. That's what a rip. Take this. Um, I guess you can have my my mud, because I mean you're just dying for that. Dang. Okay. Well, I guess I'm buying one, right? Okay, cool. I can't equip it here or something? Oh, okay, there we go. Look at that. What's this one? Curious. It says backpack, but is it a leather bag? That's very cool. I love the trading. Like, this kind of trading is so awesome. Oh, geez. A little bit of lag. That's okay. Hello, Ron. Um, okay, bye. Different people, different questing. Go away, I don't want to talk to you. Can I hit people? Nope. Conspirator. Go away, what we're discussing here is not for your ears. Go oh, away, this is a private meeting. Very, very cool. So yeah, my friends, I want to thank you all for watching. I know, I know, I could I could play this for hours. I'm not even kidding. Um, ooh, stone furnace. And an exquisite stone furnace. And is this guy a blacksmith? Is there anything I can do for you? came to the right person. I need you to bring me ten iron ores. Holy moly. Cool. This is super awesome. Super, super awesome. Look at this place. This is one town. Look at this. I see more towns. Oh, that's... Oh, dungeons. Oh my goodness. I have to check and see if there's multiplayer because I can't... I can't even tell. This is crazy. Alright, guys. I gotta end it here, though. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is only day four of Muley's holiday uh, rundown, 2017. But yeah, it's going good. This game is super sweet. So check it out on Steam, link in the description. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video and a new game. Happy holidays. Bye!